everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to make these simple acorn beads and then I'm going to show you some of the things that I made with them. My mother-in-law told me that she had a bunch of acorns in her yard that I could come and collect for crafts. So that's what I did. Look, I got my bag, and we're gonna go find acorns. Oh, here's some lids. We can we can use the lids. We don't have to have the acorn in there. We could fill them with stuff. I couldn't wait to see what kind of ideas I could come up with to make with all these treasures. The first thing I will show you is how I created my acorn beads. So let's get started. You will need acorn tops, a hammer, a nail, or an awl, and a scrap piece of wood. Set the acorn cap on the block of wood and lightly tap a hole in the cap. I painted my acorn caps because I thought that it would protect them and keep them from drying out, but I think this step is a total matter of preference. I used a brown acrylic paint. I found this big jar of beads at a yard sale for $1.50. I also got this pack of wood beads at Walmart, and I like them because they are all different colors and sizes. I wanted to make this project cheap and easy, so I used Christmas ornament hooks to make my beads. Straighten and bend your hook in half, and then twist the bottom part of the hook. Use your pliers to squeeze the two ends together so you can put the wire into the hole. Bend the two wire ends like this. By doing this, it makes the wire fit snugly in the center of the bead, and it also gives the glue plenty of surface to adhere to. Put a little bit of hot glue in the hole of the bead. Also, put some glue on the outside top. Now push the wire into the hole and press the cap onto the top of the bead. Now you have an acorn bead. Use your imagination to make your beads different. I added glitter to this bead and used a dark brown bead for this one. I made two different types of earrings. I made some with glitter and some with feathers. And they would also make great pendants too. <laughs> acorn earrings are so easy to make. All you need is two earring hooks, two jump rings, and two acorn beads. Open your jump ring and put your earring hook on the jump ring. Then put your acorn bead on the ring. Now close your jump ring. Here is what the feather earrings look like. Every year our phone book has an advertisement magnet on it, and that is what I'm going to use for this next project. Now let me show you how to make this cute little refrigerator magnet. First, cut a piece of cardboard from an old cereal box that is a little smaller than the burlap ribbon, but a little bigger than the magnet. Then, glue the burlap ribbon around all the edges on the back side, like this. Now I cut out a leaf out of material with the help of a leaf pattern. Use a small clothespin and color it with a marker so it blends in a bit better. I use thin ribbon to make a bow. Tie a couple of beads onto a small twig and then glue all of it on with hot glue. Don't forget to glue the magnet on the back. I am going to use my note holder to hang notes of things that I am grateful for. I love how my acorn garland turned out. Let me show you how I made it. First, I measure a piece of twine to the size of the doorway that I want to hang it on. Then I cut it. I cut a small piece of cardboard to use as a guide to determine how far apart I want my acorns to be on my garland and I made my piece of cardboard about four and a half inches wide. I used a wide ribbon and I cut it in half. I like the color of this ribbon and the sparkles in it. You can use a thinner ribbon if you want to. Now put a bead onto the end of the twine and use your guide to determine where you want to tie the bead onto your garland. Use the guide to measure the ribbon also. Then tie the piece of ribbon onto the top of the bead. Do this until the whole piece of twine is full of beads. Now we hang up our garland. You can make your garland plain like I did mine, or you can add leaves between your acorns. But I really liked making a separate garland to go with my acorns. And making your own garland is so easy. Click here to see the tutorial, or you can follow the link down below. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my acorn beads and seeing all the cool things that I made with them. Use your imagination to come up with your own ways to use your acorn beads.
If you decide to give this craft a try and you would like to share your acorn creation with us, stop by our Facebook page and post your picture. Here are a few pictures that were shared with us this week. Annie was busy making dishcloths. Excellent job, Annie. Lizette made this absolutely gorgeous hat. And Mary made a snowman and a fabulous wreath. I am always so impressed with all of your creations. Thank you so much for taking the time to share. Lately, I have been coming up with some unique and easy Christmas crafts that I can't wait to show you. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And please feel free to leave your comments, questions, and suggestions down below. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! That's a fine looking fire pit.